real estate business, the phrase is location, location, location. When it comes to understanding and interpreting scripture, making application for our lives, the term is perspective, perspective, perspective. Hi, this is Barry Phillips with 10 Minute Torah, day number four, the Torah portion of Maquettes. Let's go to Bear Sheet, Genesis chapter number 43, and begin with verse number one. But the scarcity of food was severe, severe in the land. And it came to be when they had eaten up the grain which they had brought from Mitzrayim, that their father said to them, Go back and buy us a little food. But Yehuda spoke to him, saying, The man vehemently warned us, saying, you do not see my face unless your brother is with you. If you let our brother go with us, we go down and buy food. But if you do not let him go, we do not go down because the man said to us, you do not see my face unless your brother is with you. Perspective. Very important word here. Oftentimes you will find folks that will be disagreeing over a particular verse of scripture and one arguing it's this way and one arguing no it's that way which one is right and the answer sometimes is yes that is they're both right in that they're looking at things from two different perspectives and two different angles so they're not going to see exactly the same image or the same understanding they're looking at it different ways and the verse that we read, verse number one, where it says that the famine was severe, the word there that is translated severe is kavod. The Hebrew spelling of the word is the letter kaf, the letter bet, and the letter dalet. The meaning of the word is to be heavy, to be weighty. Now, kavod is the word that we also would translate as that which pertains to honor or glory. And for us to understand then that honor and glory being from kavod, it means that the honor is a heavy thing. It is a weighty thing. Honor is not something you throw around lightly. It's not something you bestow upon someone who has not earned it or achieved it or merited it. To, for honor to have any sense of integrity, there needs to be something honorable about that which is being honored. Uh, to have glory. The, the word glory gives us the idea of the shikunah, the manifested light and splendor of the presence, the divine presence of the Most High One. This can be a smoky cloud. It can be a fiery image. It can be uh, an exuberance of light. Uh, it is the overwhelmingness, if there is such a word, maybe there is now, the overwhelmingness of Yah's manifested presence. That is, there, it's become somehow discernible, perceivable, tangible almost in this physical realm. It's not a concept that's regarded only and reserved only for the heavenlies. So kavod, being heavy and being glorious, that's one perspective. There is a, another perspective, and that is that kavod can suggest that which is grievous, that which is hard, it is burdensome. Uh, for those that have been uh, honored or applauded or um, recognized for monumental achievements, it may be a thrill at the beginning, but then there is the, the, the part of that, that where people, once you've achieved a certain thing, they expect you to keep achieving it. Consider someone who's involved in the field of sports. They have a fantastic season where they score a lot of points or they make a lot of uh, specific plays that 
they uh, caused him a great deal of, of, of applause and acknowledgement. If in the next year or the next season or the next game, they failed to live up to the previous level, then there is this great and intense burdensome pressure. I've already shown that I can perform at a certain level and I'm not now. Therefore, the weight and the heaviness, the cavode of my previous feats or weighing me down and plaguing my mind and my, my thoughts to where I'm not able to achieve them anymore. So it's a two-sided coin. In this situation, as we read the text, the famine began to be severe. Well, our immediate application of this term then would be that the the uh, lack of food, the scarcity of food, has become burdensome. It has become grievous. It has become very heavy upon them. It wouldn't seem that then that there is any glory or any honor about the lack of food. So it might seem in our day, current situations in many, many arenas uh, appear to be heavy and controlling um, to where it would seem that hands of authority are being more heavily placed upon us there uh, in recent days at the time of this recording. Threats of renewed viral infections um, being rampant in the earth or it's possible that a new variety, new variant of things can, can come to our shores and there is already then the idea, well, we're going to have to become very strict. We're going to have to be very cautious. And people are already bucking and saying, I don't want that heavy, controlling, limiting, locking down hand upon me. It is severe then. It is deemed to be oppressive or grievous. There is another angle. There always is. If we consider what the book of Revelation says to us about the idea of kavod in this application, consider that the word kavod being a cough. A cough, uh, it gives us the image of the palm of the hand. The letter bet uh, especially in modern script, gives us the idea of an image of a house, um, that which contains something. And then the Dalit, um, it's the idea of a door, a door that opens and shuts. Knowing then that each of the pictures pertaining to the letters, the, the symbol, symbols, uh, of each letter, I started to say the symbology, uh, if there's such a word, but the symbolism of each word or each letter gives us an understanding, uh, an, an insight possibly, not always, but possibly to another meaning or another level of meaning. And that is that the, le the palm of the hand or the hand is on the house's door. It's the idea of a hand reaching and getting the hold of the doorknob and opening the door to go into the house. Yeshua said in the book of Revelation, he said, behold, I stand at the door and I knock. And if you will open to me, I will come in and I will dine with you. He also said, I am he that opens the door and no man can shut. And I shut a door and no man can open. As it was in Yaakov's day that the severity of the plague produced the opportunity for Benjamin to be brought again to be reconciled with Yosef so that the family could be finally restored. The severity actually was a glorious thing, an honorable thing in its end result. Current days may not be necessarily seen as oppressive or grievous. It's Yeshua possibly knocking at the door. Let's open the door to Yeshua. Stop being grieved. 
stop being perspective, uh, the perspective of being heavy and oppressive. It's an opportunity. And let's pray about it as such. More tomorrow. Then shalom. Thank you.